Hi, I'm Omid and I'm here with another Power Query solution for real world problem. Let's consider this table and I want to transform it into the right table. Here we have lots of product and each row represents the shipment per product. Each three column represents value for one shipment. Shipment date, number and quantity. For the second shipment for that product, we have another three columns. In this example, we want to transform this table into the right table and each shipment per product presented in different row. Two different solutions are provided here. One based on table.group, another based on merging column. Let's uh, solve it by the first solution. Initially, I'm going to select this column and use unpivot other column. In the next step, I want to use grouping and provide the information on each shipment in separate group. To do this, let's select home and pick group by. Select product as the first and attribute as the second and pick all rows here and rename it as all. It would be something like this, including one row table in the all column the information of these three rows i want to combine and do the same for others so uh, let's consider the formula the first parameter is the previous step second one is the uh, grouping columns and the third one is the operation uh, function i do not need the third input in this function so to shorten the formula, let's remove it and use the fourth input as a zero to convert the grouping kind from global to the local. In the fifth input, I'm going to use a custom function with two arguments, x and y. Both are in type record, including the field product and also field attribute. This is the symbol of custom function. The result of custom function in Power Query table dot group should be one or zero. So initially use number dot from to convert any value to the number value, and I will use y column at uh, fields attribute 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 yeah. I do not need all the values, I just need the first four characters, so I put it into the function text.start. Text.start. In another word, the result of this value would be the first four characters on the column or on the field attribute. I comparing the result of this function with value ship. So it mentioned that consider the first row, y is the first row with these two records. If the first four characters of y would be sheep, it's a stop grouping for previous group and a start new grouping. So it's a start from here until reaching this value. As this is the start by character sheep, the grouping for previous records are a stop and new grouping would be generated. Let's press OK. Here it's uppercase. Yeah. The result would be like this, including the first three rows for each data. Now I can use this table, transform the data, and use it for grouping. Let's consider a new color. I'm going to use table that remove columns. Remove columns, yeah. Uh, on the all columns, remove products. And also remove at three. 
views press ok it would be the result table now I'm going to transpose it and by using table dot transpose at the beginning yeah and press enter the result would be like this column one column two column three and now we can expand this column see each shipment per product provided in different rows and these two columns can be removed now product a shipment one shipment two and else so the problem is solved by table.go in another solution i want to use merging command to solve this problem so let's consider this column until the last column right click on it and use merge columns put something like known as a separator the result would be like this uh, to tra initially transform column is used to transform all the values into text and then using for merge i do not need table.transform function so remove these parts I need the source here and yeah so it's going to provide error because this value cannot be merged together by this combiner so I'm going to remove the combiner also and replace it by each underline the result would be like this first three are for the first shipment the next three are for the next shipment and also the same for others to solve this problem i'm going instead of using each underline i'm going to use list the transform here value from zero to three because we have we had a a four shipment in the underline so for 0 to 3 I'm going to write this formula I create a record date equal to underline here right x as a, a custom function in list of transform underline 3 multiply by x then number equal to underline 3 multiply by x plus 1 and quantity equal to underline 3 multiply by x plus 2 and let's see the result in the result table if i'm going to open this list this is for first shipment this is for second shipment for third and for the fourth shipment so back to the example here the result of each underline would be the list including all data but by using this formula i convert it to the list with four items each item is a record including these three value date number and quantity date is the first value this is this is a number and this is a quantity then for the next one this is a date number and quantity by doing this i can extract it as a new row so each one is provided in separate row and then i can extract it as a columns the result would be like this because in the source table some of the products comes with just one or two shipment there is also some null values here that you can filter them to reach the final solution